One of the first things you're probably asking when you're thinking about making a video for your business is what kind of video would you like to make in the first place? What we'd love to do for a few minutes is just tell you about some of our favorite kinds of videos to make for businesses and the ones that are favorite are the ones that have had real impact. So yeah, tell me, why don't you tell us about the first kind? Yeah, so the first kind is testimonials. And testimonials are kind of like the reviews of the video world. So think about it whenever you're going online to buy a product. So you're searching on Amazon and the first thing you do when you find something you like is you look at the reviews, right? You don't look at their, their splashy marketing or all the words they're using to describe their product because you know they're just trying to sell something to you. So you're looking for what other people have experienced and what their opinion of the product is. Testimonials are the same way. So whenever your customers are looking for what you're offering them, they wanna hear the, about the experience of your previous customers. And a testimonial is the exact way they do that. So it's really just a review in real life. So do's and don'ts for testimonials. The do would be to highlight your ideal customer. Uh, you may have plenty of customers with great experience, but you want to promote the type of customers that you want to continually bring in. So make sure you are getting your ideal customer on camera and getting them to provide a testimonial for you talking about their experience and how much they loved your product. The don't would be to not wait too long. Most of the time when a customer finishes working with you, they have what's called like a honeymoon phase. So they have where they're riding high, they've loved the work you've done, and everything is fresh on their mind with the experience. So typically you want to capture that emotion and that testimonial right then. You don't wanna wait a year from now when all of those high feelings are gone and all of those, the honeymoon phase is over and they have trouble just remembering what it was like working with you. You want to get it fresh before they forget anything. That's right, Tommy. And one of our second, and this is probably the type of video we make quite often, is the About Us video. Yep. Now, the catch with this one is it can, there's a right way to do it and a wrong way. And too often, uh, people actually want to make an About Us video. Uh, sadly, customers do not care if you've been in business for 150 years. They don't care uh, a whole lot about your facility and things going on uh, as far as equipment, stuff like that. But what they do care about is what you can do for them the results you deliver and so when you're doing an about us video it's it's really more of about what we can do for you video and showing those results now uh, a caveat to what I said earlier if you have an impressive facility we want to showcase that but let us show that but in the copy or the language let's say the things that you're gonna do for the customers because that's what they're gonna remember yeah exactly I mean a customer is not going to watch a video and say oh they have you know 12,000 square feet of warehouse space. They, that's not gonna impress them. And, and we know like you guys have worked incredibly hard just like we have to get where you are today. And that's why those things feel emotional and connected for you, but for your customer, again, they're thinking, what can you do for me? How can you make my life better or easier? The next type of video is product offerings. So when someone's searching for a product, they're probably gonna do a lot of research, especially if it's something they're really interested in. So a lot of times they're gonna dig around, they're gonna look at competitors, they're gonna look at all the different offerings. So they're gonna to wanna to know as much information as possible. So as much information as you can give them through a form of media like video, it's gonna help shorten your sales cycle and improve your close rate because they've been informing themselves already. So whenever they come to you, they already have this knowledge and this information that you've provided with them and you don't have to work on that sale and you don't have to really try to upsell them or convince them to buy your product because they already have all the information they need. And if you look at that over a full year that could be a substantial number for your sales teams having to spend less time with a client because the client has educated themselves before they reach out and in closing I would just say think about how it fits in the sales cycle a video that just sits on your website is helpful but if it's involved in the sales cycle it's really powerful yeah too often we've seen so many people that uh, take a video that we've made or that someone has made for them and they throw it on their website, they throw it on social media and then it just sits there and nothing ever comes from it. And while that's good and a few people may see it, it doesn't really get the return on investment that you want from a video. You want a video that is going to help bring that return on investment, help shorten your sales cycle and close those sales.